send Cal everything. K Rich. You know! What up? It's DJ K Rich representing that Send Cal everything, and this is my five minute fresh. Let's get it. What up? DJ K Rich here, and what I do is I DJ, but not just DJ. I break records, I put on for SynCal. Where is SynCal located? It's in between Northern California and Southern California. Smack dab in the middle, we call it the Valley. Nickel Nickel 9, 559. Five, Either or, but that's who I am, and that's what I represent. The inner marks that they think in the bars are harder to write the more that they bite. And see you wrong, and see you pull, and see you pay how much I'm me alone. So disgusting. Originally, I'm from San Jose, California, but back in 2004, I moved out to Fresno to attend Fresno State. Shout out to the Fresno State Bulldogs. And I pretty much got involved with the music scene heavily once I stopped playing football in 2005. I got on to B95, which is the radio station out here, B95, 94.9 on your dial. And with that, I actually became became a fan of the SynCal music scene, but it didn't take, it took till 2010 in order for me to take over the homegrown show, which pretty much is the catalyst for all music coming out of Central California. My personal influences is DJ Checo, he's out of Northern California, and also Hobbs One, who currently resides in San Diego. So as you can see, I'm from California to the heart, but uh, it's, not where you're, it's not where you're at, or it's not where you're from, it's where you're at and right now in Central California. So that's what I'm trying to do. Smell like a vacation Hate your rumors Hate the bullshit Hate these fucking allegations I've been spilling like the clone is for the taking Watch the I care about his money In the city that I'm from I'ma sip until I feel it I'ma smoke until it's done no. Questioning and a lot of people have a problem with is artists they have a lot of views versus artists that don't. Artists hating on the other artists, the artists being sour towards the other artists and not supporting another local artist that is actually doing big numbers. All the artists that are doing huge numbers continue to do what you do. Whatever you're doing to do it, continue to do it. Keep pounding the pavement, keep getting the fans, keep getting the clicks because that is what's going to put you in a better position than you are currently. If you're an artist that's hating on that next person, maybe, just maybe, you might want to hit that person up. And ask them what are they doing in order to get the views that they are doing. You gotta hit them up and say, hey, I'm getting 100 views for every video I put out. You just hit 600,000. What could I do? You never know. You can learn. You can learn from. Them. So my thing is, is it's better to try to gain some respect for each other and gain some unity because that's gonna propel both you guys to the next level compared to just being sour or hating on the next person. If you do that, I guarantee you, your career is going nowhere. With the SynCal Everything movement, it's pretty much embracing everything that is SynCal, from production to rappers to musicians, artists, singers, videographers, directors, photoshoppers, whatever you want to call it. It's embracing everything that is SynCal related. And what we're trying to do is take SynCal and put it on the map. I feel that SynCal could compete with Northern California, with Southern California, and the entire United States of America. So what we're doing is making an incubator for hot music, hot talent, and bringing those artists to the forefront, putting them in the limelight with the Northern side of the state, with the Southern side of the state, and across the globe as a whole. SynCal everything. There's one thing that I think is the most key behind everything is do not, and I repeat, do not think that you are the business in terms of approaching somebody. If you approach a DJ, if you approach somebody who works at a radio station, and you say, hey man, I'm the truth. You know how many times we hear that? We hear it non-stop. So here's my advice to you. As an artist trying to get on and get a fan base and try to get on the radio, my thing to you is this. Put in the footwork. You need to go out there, pass out the free CDs. Don't charge for your CD. Pass out your CDs because I guarantee you if one person hears your song and they're like, hey, I like your music, that's a fan for life. So you get, you have strength in numbers. So if you get all these people liking your stuff and then you have all these people clicking on your YouTube accounts, all these people downloading your songs, now you come to the radio station in a business profession, a business manner and say, hey, look, right here on paper, X amount of people have downloaded my song, X amount of people have clicked on my YouTube.
YouTube video, X amount of people have done this, that, and the third. By doing that, I guarantee that the radio station will go, hey, you know what, let's give this guy a listen. And then after that, your song has to contend with the likes of Jay-Z, Kanye West, Nicki Minaj, Big Sean, Drake, Lil Wayne, all these cats that are on the radio, your song has to compete and be not just better than theirs in your eyes, it has to be better than theirs across the line, across the globe, across the nation, across whatever target audience you're going out for. It has to be better than whoever is the top dog in that market. So remember this. From Rihanna Miss, my prime is something that I ain't reached yet. Nickel Nine Boy, rep and Sound McCallie with each step. The big question of all DJs and all hip hop heads is vinyl versus Serato. So here's my take on it. I learned on vinyl. I think if you're a DJ and you do not learn on vinyl, there's this, there's a little bit of DJing that you will never ever understand. Vinyl forces you to train your ear. It forces you to be able to close your eyes and feel the music. And I think that's the that's the difference between vinyl and Serato. Okay, when you go to Serato now, Serato you have a screen open and everything, and you can look and match the beats by the by the wavelengths and all that other stuff. But at the end of the day, the true essence of DJ is taking it back to the wax. So I learned on wax and I moved over to Serato, and the reason for that is Record labels stop pressing up wax. These artists don't get their records pressed up as much. So it's harder to find and you have to love them around. All Serato did was make it more convenient for DJs to get new records and play new records on the spot. There's many times that artists come to the club when you're like, man, I don't have your record. And the artist pulls out a thumb drive. And guess what? You can plug that into Serato and you're ready to rock. Brand new, fresh off the press, right off the Pro Tools, right out the studio. I can play it in the club. So that is the, pro, uh, the pros of Serato. The downfall is, Everybody's a DJ. Shout out to the $50 DJs. I'll see you guys.